Hello and welcome. Hope everybody is staying safe and well. So this video is the second part of Microsoft's Endpoint Manager, um, covering Intune Windows 10 application delivery. The first video covered an introduction to Windows 10 Autopilot enrollment and hybrid Azure AD join. Go and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Links are in the description. So we will cover Windows 10 application delivery in this video. This is shown in the green section in the diagram. So packaging our applications and installing uh, to our Windows 10 devices. So before we get started, please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications on further content, including cloud technical guides and certification. So once subscribed to a channel, any new videos published uh, by the channel will be shown in your subscription feed. So subscribing also helps us and the channel grow, you know, and gives us better views to produce further video content on popular subjects. So I'll give you a moment to subscribe now using the links either in the bottom right uh, hand corner of the video or in the description. Thank you. So this video will cover downloading the Intune WinApp utility, which is used for packaging applications. So in this video, we will package Chrome using that utility. And we also install um, Chrome as a Win32 application to uh, Windows 10 devices. We will check to see if Chrome's been installed correctly and also how to uninstall Chrome. We'll also take a look into installing Microsoft 365 applications and check the company portal on the Windows 10 devices. So first of all, let's download the Intune WinApp utility used for packaging Win32 apps. So we can download from GitHub. Again, links are in the description. So in the next section, we will show how to package Chrome using this utility. So before we add a Win32 application, we need to package it into a .intune Win5 extension. So we use the utility we downloaded in the previous section. So in this case, we'll package Chrome browser as an example. Chrome is downloaded as an MSI file, and we will run this utility against the MSI file to output uh, a packaged app um, in our Intune Win5 extension file. So let's check on a Windows 10 device before we roll out Chrome that it doesn't already contain um, Chrome as an installation. So now we have our packaged app, let's roll it out to our Windows 10 client. So we go to Endpoint Manager, we add an app. So here we can see that we have many application types that we can select. So in this instance, we will select a Win32 app and then point to our packaged .intune Win extension we created earlier. OK, so once a file is selected, so we click OK and then if we click Next and then if we select a name for our application, so in this instance it's Google Chrome, type a description, type the publisher name and then we can click Next. So in the next section we can leave the install commands and uninstall commands as default and we can select the device restart behaviour as required. And then we can choose our operating system architecture, whether 32-bit or 64. We choose 64 in this case, and our minimum operating system, Windows 10 1607. And then we just leave all the defaults as they are, but you've got options regarding disk space uh, requirements, um, physical memory, etc. So um, there's various options here to set if required. We will leave detection rules by default and then we will select our endpoint manager group containing our users um, to deploy the applications to. Within the portal under the Google Chrome application we can see our device install status is now installed and we can see on the Windows 10 device the Google Chrome icon is visible on the desktop we can open the app if we go to the company portal we can also see that it's installed so we can also uninstall the application if required so if we go back into the app 
and if we go to properties and if we go to assignments we can actually uh, add a group uh, under uninstall um, to target that group to uninstall the application so if we select our group here and then click OK and then we can uh, deselect our original group so it's not in the policy any longer and then include our uninstall group select that group and then we can see in the end device after a period of time the Google Chrome application has now been uninstalled so let's add another app so in this case we're going to click add and then we're going to choose Microsoft 365 so what this will do it will install the Microsoft 365 application suite on our Windows 10 devices we can choose the office apps to be installed and also the update channel required let's target our user group as we used before So on our Windows 10 device in the company portal application we can see that we are now installing Microsoft 365 apps. Under the device install status we can also see that our apps uh, are now installed. And our Windows 10 device has our Microsoft 365 applications now successfully installed onto it. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on new videos posted weekly. All the very best. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.